In the case of Thailand, we took three major sets of initiatives to support the country in the wake of COVID-19. The first was to design a one and a half billion dollar program loan with the authorities. One that was important not just for the money, but for the things that were being done with the money that we helped design. The first of these things was to provide cash handouts and cash support targeted to the most vulnerable uh, and poorest people in Thai society, those who were affected the worst uh, by the COVID pandemic and had the least resources to address it. The second thing we did was we worked with the government to expand vaccination capacity. And the third thing we did was lay the groundwork for medium to long-term economic recovery by using some of this funding in order to support capacity for SMEs to grow. So in this way, we worked with the government in a comprehensive way to help it address the COVID-19 pandemic. The second thing that we've done for the government is to help it mobilize sustainable finance. We undertook a program which allowed the government to now raise over $5 billion in sustainable finance from the capital markets. And finally, as a partner to the government, we also view ourselves as a window to other partners. We think of ourselves in the first instance, uh, not as a bank, the word that's in our name, but as a partner. Uh, the first thing we want to understand as a good partner is what are the government's own plans and strategies for addressing these difficult circumstances. In the case of Thailand, the government has a very, very clear sense, reflected both in Strategy 4.0 uh, and in the plan for a biocircular green economy. At ADB, our approach is to try to understand how we can support these plans and help the government achieve its own vision for the future of its people. We're doing this by focusing on some of the sectors that are central to this process. That includes smart agriculture, that includes enhancing the country's ability to engage in regional and international trade, uh, medical tourism, um, and also in the pivot to electric vehicles. And one of the things that we need to do to be relevant here in Thailand is to continue to evolve in doing a better job integrating our sovereign and non-sovereign operations. I'm happy to say that that's something that's happening. For example, we have a very uh, innovative new support program for the transition to e-ferries uh, here in Bangkok. Uh, the other thing that we do is we work with the government on cross-cutting policy reforms that affect the entire trajectory uh, of implementing these strategies in the future. So, for example, uh, we're working closely with the Ministry of Finance on a program of enhancing the to long-term fiscal sustainability. Thailand was the first country uh, to ever receive a loan uh, from ADB. Uh, we've been partners to Thailand to thick and thin in good times and bad times. It's extraordinary how far the country has come. Uh, we've always been here and we intend to always be here as a partner.